So how is Monsieur Marat? I haven't met him yet. He is your only chance to reach the Bastille Aegis. You must speak to him. He's holed up in the quarries of Montmartre, hiding from the Marquis de Lafayette. As for the lanterns... Did Monsieur de Laclos tell you the secret of his explosive cannonball? No. We didn't talk about it. That's a pity. Without his help, our strategy is doomed to failure. Let's see. I know he's close to Monsieur Marat, the patriotic journalist. He's currently in hiding in the quarries of Montmartre. But please, do not breathe a word of this to the Marquis de Lafayette. Those two are at daggers drawn. It would certainly end in a bloodbath. Were you present when the Estates General was dissolved? Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. I we laid bare before the king the ab- So he had the people's representative. At least we only had to contend with soldiers positively and- Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre. Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis.
Zoot! Praise be to the Holy Mother of our Lord! At last thou speakest! Uh. Gentle dame, you have erred here for so long, not a word uttered. <laughs> In singular contemplation of such terrible slaughter. A long time, you say? That's not possible, sir. I've just now appeared to you. Nay! Thou must trust me! And thou wast hardly alone in this limbo. There were many travelers, stiff and silent, all in agony, all bound to the anchor stone. What travelers do you speak of? The first to arrive was a sobbing child searching for his mother. <laughs> After him, uh, many a damned soul carrying their own heads in hand. Then those whose thoughts passed through me. Ah, a minister of God tormented by doubt. Hold on. A minister of God? Monsignor de la Far. A scholar with soul star-filled and a learned master of alchemy. Monsieur Bailly and Monsieur Lavoisier. A usurer who shed so many tears for his lady. Monsieur Necker mourning his wife. All bound to the anchor stone. <laughs> Wretched souls, their ascension to the heavens repelled. The anchor stone, monsieur. Lapis philosophorum. The philosopher's stone. I, vile knave who took it for his own lately. No count is he but that of Christmas and perfidy. Cagliostro. Well met. The rope for this violet and I shall be avenged. The Anchor Stone keeps the travelers in this limbo and makes them masters of the Iron Titans. From the defunct springs the fire that burns inside these demons. <laughs> Lanterns of the dead, witchcraft of the blackest sword. The terrible slaughter. You say I was just observing the massacres. I, vile innumerable crimes. The devil's own cursed Titans and their restless horde. They drinketh from the lake where the souls of the dead sleep. <laughs> Men and women offered in sacrifice to feed the pyre. Then the terrible moor was opened, and in flowed legion of the dead. Ne'er has I seen such and so many here during all my stay. Oh. The stone is verily my dark confine. Lonely, so lonely, that my vessel is no more. And my soul still cloistered in this place. Alack, I do despair of ever ascending to heaven. Gentle dame, I pray thee, do shatter my stone. You want me to break the stone that contains your soul? Is that what you're asking me to do? I, my God, I beg thee. Do you know where this stone is? You've been buried for more than three centuries, monsieur. The precious jewel, sublime treasure, was inscribed in my legacy, my testament, my testament. On my tomb engraved, gentle dame, on the tomb! about it immediately.
Can I help you, Aegis? The plan worked as we had hoped. My spirit left my body, and I traveled to the in-between. This is extraordinary. It confirms all my theories. You were right about the rest, too. Nicholas Flamel's soul had never left the in-between. Mon Dieu, four centuries. What a fearsome fate. Were you able to speak with this unfortunate soul? Yes, mon père. He claimed that I had been in purgatory for a long time, but had never spoken until then. Please, go on. He said he had met other visitors. Based on his descriptions, he was speaking of Monsignor de la Fare, Minister Necker, Monsieur Bailly and Monsieur Lavoisier. They all seemed unaware of his presence. All bound to the anchor stone. Those were his words. All those whom Cagliostro turned into his homicidal playthings. Yes, it is just as I thought. The subject has the impression of being the automat it is bound to, but his soul remains in the in-between world. Mon père, Monsieur Flamel begged me to free him from purgatory. He has suffered for too long. How can we help him? If he is to be believed, we would simply have to break his stone. Of course, the Philosopher's Stone. The anchor stone that keeps him in the in-between. But where could it be after all this time? Look at this, mon père. These are Philosopher's Stones made by Cagliostro's hand. Do they look familiar? Heavens, they do. Ages. The ancient chalice of Saint-Jacques is adorned with a similar stone. It was entrusted to me by the parish priests, along with some other relics. I stored it in a reliquary chest in this very room. Here's the key. Go. Let us not waste a second more. Goodbye, mon père. Here it is. Four centuries, Aegis. Four centuries. No mind can begin to comprehend what this poor man has suffered. Is this the fate that awaits us? An eternity of silence and solitude? Purgatory is just a stop on the journey, Monseigneur. Oh, I would give anything to believe it again. Monsieur Flamel, the time has come to set you free. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. Hallelujah! Purgatory is not the end. Do you know what that means, Abbot? Before I say anything, I would like to take the time to consider the phenomenon we have just witnessed with a clear head. You are mistaken. What we have just seen and heard makes us new apostles. From this day on, I will live only to share the good news of this divine manifestation. That is all well and good, Monseigneur. Alas, I will not be able to join your apostolate, for there is no mission more vital than the one we are undertaking. At the moment when the tyrant aims to annihilate his subjects, I have a duty to put deeds before prayer. Can I help you, Aegis? Goodbye, mon père. Mon 
Monseigneur. What can I do for you, Aegis? Goodbye, Monseigneur. Allez en paix, Aegis. <laughs>